Welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop, and this is going to be part three of my hydraulic forging press series. This is the final video in this series. This has taken me probably about two weeks of making and about a week of design and work and getting everything figured out. And I, I gotta say, it is a beautiful, beautiful press. I've used a little bit on some cold punching stuff with my hammer eye press with some piece of tubing and it punches just beautifully. I got some stripper bars made up this morning. I got the punch welded on this morning. Pins bent as well. And it's just within the past few days I I've gone from pretty much having the barely the frame made to I have this little jig on here now so I can adjust the actual, uh, the, the amount I have to pivot the foot pedal on. I got the spark guard on top. Because it's a plastic tank, I have this, this piece of rubber on top with a stainless steel spark guard around it. And if we go around the back here, this is to protect the hydraulic hoses. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but where my hand is, there's two hoses that go down to the cylinder. And as well as the back of the tank is right there. So to protect the tank, and the hoses, little piece of stainless steel wedged in, so if any of the scale comes off of this, it'll hit this and get pushed to the other side away from it. So yeah, this is uh, this is the overview of it. As you can see, it has uh, die pins for the bottom, so I just pull out the pins and I can lift the die straight up. And for the top one, there's actually this bolt. I just push up and I can slide this out. So you got foot pedal, cylinder, lever, or the, the extension rod that goes to lever, and then the actual working area. Uh, because I want to get some footage for you guys so you can actually see what this can do in this setup right now, I only have these two die plates, so that's the only setup stuff I can do right now until I go and get some more steel. But I'm also going to start recording my part number two for my forging 20 hammers. I'll get some footage for this video so you can see just this guy punching, which is also going to be an experience because I haven't done any hot work under this yet, so I'm very excited about that. And then we can get uh, another video going for part two for the Hammer series. Let's lay up the forge and get pressing. Under the hydraulic forging press. And that is the little slug of it. But that's kind of hot, so. So, as you just saw, that thing punches amazing and beautifully. Um, the lining up and everything, that's going to be all kind of user error, um, especially with that plug being a little crooked. The hole looks perfectly fine, just that slug looks a little crooked and oh well. That's my fault, not 
the machine. <laughs> you can see what this what this press does. Like you just saw straight how quickly that thing just went right into the steel, punched it, nice and clean. Stripper bars ripped off the hammer billet, no problem. It's it's just amazing, amazing. So I loaded up the forge with some more hammers. Look forward to more videos in the hammer making series. Like I said. Comment down below and contact me if you would be interested in buying a set of plans for this. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and comment what you thought down below. Other than that, we'll see you in the next one.